thousand. So I've just finished retconning the entire inside of the ship. Um, what that means is that if you go back and watch old Pterodome videos and you look at the background where I'm sat, um, this is it. It might look a bit different, but it's been retconned. Um, it's the same, but different. So, you know, you look at the backgrounds and you think, wait, that looks different. It's not, it's the same. I've just retconned it. Things might have been moved around, things might look different, but they're the same. They've been retconned, retconned, the same, but different. So when you watch these new ones, you imagine the background basically as what you saw in the old ones, even though it looks different. Yeah, that, that's it. Attention, crew um, members. Mail pod has arrived in the Wow, you'll never guess what was in today's mail pod. So my mum was very kind and went through the attic and found some old dinosaur stuff I used to own. So we have a collection of things here like posters I used to have up on the walls when I was kids and books I used to read and something I used to collect which I haven't seen in so long that I'm really excited to see it again. So yeah, we've got this package here, let's go through it. So the first thing we have is this uh, Ladybird Leader's Dinosaur book. Now this thing is super old. I think it used to um, belong to my nan and granddad, I, I think. I love this epic image of the primordial earth with the volcanoes and the lightning storms. That's very, very awesome. I used to love this image here because it really reminded me of the uh, Jurassic Park Kenner uh, Dimetrodon, or Dimetrodon. Then you've got some frogs and alligators, and then you've got the plesiosaurs, Inkthesaurs, and then uh, I think this was the first time I ever saw a dimor dimorphodon in uh, in any sort of literature. And then you've got a little bit about uh, you know paleontology, and it says a skeleton of a brontosaurus, which at the time would have been misclassified, but now there is a species of uh, sauropod which has now been given the name brontosaurus. So um, obviously this skeleton here will probably be probably be inaccurate, but um, but there is a brontosaurus now, so. There we go. So there you go. They've got brontosaurus here. So technically, that's a that you know that's an accurate image. Diplodocus. And then this one I always was uh, fascinated by because I really love the look of this uh, theropod here. Antrodimus. Antrodimus. You don't hear much about that dinosaur anymore. Um, maybe it's been reclassified. I'll have to look that up. And then here we go. We've got Styracosaurus and Tyrannosaurus, and the T-Rex obviously. <laughs> <laughs> standing upright and then we go into the mammals the first mammals so you know you get more bang for your buck you don't just get dinosaurs you're getting like the sort of a brief history of uh, you go through the ice age to the mammal era woolly rhinoceros and eohippus and then I always love this image of this saber-toothed tiger that looks really menacing and this uh, picture here of the woolly mammoth being hunted is also really cool like Woolly mammoths were absolutely humongous. Like they were massive creatures. So if they do ever actually clone a woolly mammoth, these things are they're big, you know. <laughs> and then you've got this nice little size chart at the end. Uh, funny enough, with the T-Rex standing horizontally. Oh yeah, it does show the size of a, a woolly mammoth compared to a present-day elephant. So there you go. It's a good indication of sort of sizes. And then to finish up, they have a list of like other books that they have. So yeah, that was Dinosaurs by the uh, Lady Bird Leader book, and I remember looking through this when I was so small and being, uh, you know, introduced to dinosaurs. I think this might even be my first ever dinosaur book, so that's cool to see. I'm going to save the best till last, so let's have a look through here. So we actually have a load of fact files, which I won't go through any of all of these individually, but um, these are all just the, like, you know, there's 3D pictures and... Uh, you know, of models, and then winged lizards. This was for like a fact file book, a rare uh, And then they had all different dinosaur species, which uh, 
It was a, a, a pretty cool little sort of weekly, I think it was a weekly magazine that had stuff like this. And then you sort of put them into a, uh, into a folder. Um, but yeah, these are just, these are just really cool. Um, some of the images, the images vary. So like, for example, you've got this picture of a T-Rex compared to this, uh, you know, this other picture of a T-Rex eating. And interestingly enough, it's using its hand. Um, but yeah, you can see like they use different artists for this uh, collection of stuff. Oh, I always really like this image here. That was uh, that was really sick. <laughs> Just tearing its neck open. Oof. Yeah, we could be here all day looking at all this stuff. So because there's other more sentimental things in this package, I'll put these aside for a rainy day. Um, next is a giant gallery Tyrannosaurus Rex poster, which is what I used to have on my wall when I was a kid. And then this poster, this was one of my favorites. So you'd open it up to reveal this huge chart. And the artist who did uh, the artwork in on this, I uh, actually did the artwork in um, another book I owned called Dinosaurs, um, which uh, had a lot of the artwork that you see here in it. And uh, yeah, this this poster is one of, one of, was one of my favorite things when I was a kid, especially for this gory image of a T-Rex being gouged by a, Triceratops if I can just get in there but yeah that that's such a cool image and I love the detail on it and everything um, when I was a kid that was one of my favorite images of dinosaurs ever and uh, yeah so this poster was very um, uh, inspiring for me because I'd look up on the wall and see all these different types of dinosaurs and see this sort of action set piece taking place to the left uh, it used to spark my imagination so yeah now to get on to what I really wanted to show you so back in the 90s, PG Tips had this run of uh, like collector's cards of dinosaurs, and then you got this booklet, which is what I'm holding here, um, and you could stick your sort of card dinosaur collection in there. And um, and I've lost the covers for this, so I don't have the actual cover, um, but this is all that remains of my uh, set. And uh, and yeah, so you can see the card is sort of stuck in there. And here we have a uh, oh, how am I going to pronounce this? Massospondylus. <laughs> and then I love this this image here of this Platosaurus, the flat lizard standing in the uh, in the rain rainstorm. It looks kind of eerie, just stood upright with its really long neck. And then uh, yeah, the card here I remember getting quite crumpled before I actually stuck it in, which was unfortunate. And here we have Coelophysis hunting a frog. I really like the colours on this Coelophysis, the whole red and uh, and red and yellow. Looks good. And then we have, uh, ah, <laughs> some uh, Leanthosaurus mating, which is something you don't usually see, but <laughs> PG Chips weren't afraid to show you the goods. <laughs> and then, uh, oh yeah, so you go, there's the PG Tips uh, chimp, which was uh, sort of their mascot at the time. And here we now enter the Jurassic period. So, and here we have uh, Megalosaurus, and uh, you know, it's hunting this uh, Skeliosaurus, I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, obviously you have this little one standing up, bright roaring, which is in the uh, in the card. And here we have um, ah, Compsognathus, which uh, is looking very purple and fat. It kind of reminds me of uh, of the Dino from the Flintstones. <laughs> and uh, and here you've got this pterosaur, which uh, if this is a Compsognathus, then this pterosaur must be tiny. <laughs> but I love this. Yeah, I love this image of it, like lying flat on the on the sand, and the compy just sort of. Having a having a nosh, and then here we have one of probably my favourite images in the entire booklet, which is this Allosaurus roaring triumphantly after it's just eaten. I mean, like completely destroyed this Camptosaurus, like and there's all guts and everything everywhere. It's a very sinister image, but it looks so menacing, even though it is stood upright. It's look it just looks really uh, ferocious and prehistoric. And then here we have Brachiosaurus, which uh, is, is look at, I mean, the detail on this is just insane, this artwork here. Like, that almost looks real. And then what we got here, we've got uh, Patasaurus. You've got the infant here drinking from the pool. Just this artwork is so amazing. And like, I love the angle of it, like reaching up to the trees, eating from the, uh, from the palms. And here we have Camptosaurus, like we saw in the other picture. This is them all grazing peacefully on the on the plains. And then we have Stegosaurus, 
which um, I really like that on the card it shows the stegosaurus sort of almost like a bear reaching up a tree to get some food or something and I really like the coloration around the uh, the stegosaurus's body it really reminds me of the Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus and then here we enter the Cretaceous period and we can see that there's a Mosasaurus and a Pteranodon card and uh, the old chimp's back <laughs> I'll find out that chimp's name Then here we have a Guandon, and I like this sort of almost like 2001 A Space Odyssey background with the sun uh, sort of coming over the completely silhouetted mountains. And here we have uh, a picture of the Deinonychus, uh, these sort of bluish Deinonychus with almost like, <laughs> it looks almost like a piranha type head um, and they're attacking a uh, Tenontosaurus. Um, and this reminds me of uh, back in the day at the Natural History Museum in London where they have the animatronic T-Rex now. They actually used to have a sort of setup of three Deinonychus which were eating a, um, I believe it was a Myosaurus, um, and uh, they were sort of in this same sort of position. One was killing it and then uh, you know the others were all attacking it. it this just reminds me of that uh, animatronic that I used to uh, you know go and see when I visited London. Then here we have uh, Corymphosaurus and uh, this image here um, used to dumbfound me as a kid because I couldn't work out if it was a painting or if it was a model or if it was like a uh, sort of um, digital uh, sort of image because it looks, I mean the T-Rex looks a bit weird, <laughs> it looks a bit like a very very evil Barney um, but like the, the actual look of this image used to really uh, sort of take me back and it still does, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like I, I think that's a painting but the, uh, the kind of blurry effect on it is, is really uh, selling it. It looks really real. I think the tail gives away that it's a painting, unless it's like a, a blend of different methods, like painting and digital. But And then here we have uh, Euphocephalus uh, knocking over a Tyrannosaurus. And then here we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, page, which um, as a kid, I actually, even though this is a really amazingly painted image, I actually used to get disappointed <laughs> that this was the picture for the T-Rex. I always wanted it to be, I always thought this one would be a more uh, appropriate image for the T-Rex, but instead we got this one, <laughs> which uh, just sort of, it's standing on this young and it kind of looks, uh, you know, odd with its arms sort of stuck out at the front. <laughs> those arms make it, those arms look so useless there. <laughs> And then on this page we have Pachycephalosaurus, and they're going in for the headbutt. And I remember like really liking the uh, the artwork of the foot being, uh, you know, kicking up the dirt down here. It's very cool. And then the last one uh, that I have because I've lost the cover and I think a few pages is a uh, is that Ornithomimus. That's it. And it's uh, you know eating some eggs here. And uh, yeah, another really cool image. And there we go, that was the PG Tips Dinosaur Card Collection, or what's left of my collection anyway. Um, if you remember this, or if you owned it, or if you do own it in a more complete fashion than this, comment below and let me know, because I'd be really interested to know if, what ones I'm missing, because I don't really want to uh, look it up too much online. I, like, I haven't seen this for years, and I forgot that it even existed, so it was very exciting to open the mail pod and see it. So yeah, I'd like to see like what other people have and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the Dome and uh, look forward to more videos about dinosaurs coming our way.